Do you like keeping plants or corals in your aquariums? I do too. The only problem I have with it is the fact that I'm always forgetting to add my fertilizers or supplements to my aquarium. And for that reason, I have bought one of these. It's a little dosing pump by D&D. In this video, we're gonna be opening it up, having a little play and seeing how it all works. To be honest with you, I have never owned or used one of these before. Crazy, isn't it? I've been keeping fish for probably a decade now and I've always put my fertilizers and everything else in manually. These kind of things have always been, in my mind, reserved for reef keepers, but actually they're really useful for anybody that owns an aquarium that has to regularly add stuff like fertilizers or anything that's in a liquid to your aquarium. So this particular one's fairly new on the market. It has all the bells and whistles, and that's kind of why I went for it. But I'll get into that a bit later. It's by a company called D&D. At least it's not made by d and it's made by another company, but it's sold through d and Now, if you're not aware, d and the aquarium solution, is a UK brand. The pump inside is made by Kamoa. To be fair, I've never heard of them, but apparently they're a really respected pharmaceutical grade pump maker. So that's always a good sign to know that you're getting a quality product. Here's some of the technical information on the back if you want to pause the video and have a read. Also, fully controllable via an app on Bluetooth. So I've already opened the box up earlier and had a little play with it because I can't go into this particular equipment blind. Inside though we have our little dosing pump manual. It is pretty bland and bleak. You basically just have to download an app and do it all through there. In the box itself we have all of our bits and pieces. We have a power supply. Now this is a multi-region power supply so it comes with either a two pin plug or a three pin for the UK, which is great, because it means that you can use it wherever you are, whatever country you're in, you're not gonna get a UK version and not be able to use it in your country or vice versa. It comes with both in the box as standard. We have a pump head, and the pump head has a 2000 hour lifespan, and the tubing inside of it is also pharmaceutical grade. I was looking at the cost of replacements for these, and I could only really find them for around 15 pounds, which to be fair, is quite cheap and that made me feel a bit more confident in this unit as well because I know if this thing goes wrong I can still replace it quite easily and you can see inside of it how it works there we've got our little rollers and that's how the pump works by peristalsis we have some free tubing now if you don't want to use this tubing um, you could just use normal airline I might actually just use black airline but it's nice also to see what's going through your pipework. We've got our cable here, and this allows us to daisy chain units together. So each one of these only has one motor head, but if you wanted to do two or three, you get a cable in there and you can daisy chain them all together from the same power supply. And also you can control them all from the same app. So that's really cool. We've got a little 10 mil beaker here as well, and this is for calibrating the unit. The end caps to join the pump head to your tubing and then finally we have our pump this is the p1dd now there is a four head version of this which obviously just has four motor heads together but that was over 200 pounds this particular single head unit it, i picked up for 70 pounds so that's one of the reasons why i went for this just to have a look at it before i indulge myself possibly on the larger one and you can see it's got kamoa branding on it as well as dnd &D. so I believe these pumps are made for medical use. Obviously D&D are also using it for aquariums. On the back we have our barcode, I guess that's the unit number, and we've got a DC in for power, and that's where we connect our daisy chain. But I do not know how many you can daisy chain together in total. And here's all the bits and bobs laid out so you can just see everything in the packaging. So you might be wondering why I chose this one in particular. There are actually quite a few different dosing pumps available on the market. And there's quite a few cheaper ones as well. I was looking into the Jabal ones because I really do need a dosing pump in this aquarium shed of mine. I'm constantly forgetting to add fertilizers on a regular basis. As much as I say to myself, I'm gonna do it every Monday or every Tuesday or whatever, I forget. And that's where these come in because it allows me just to set it and forget it obviously you have to keep the reservoir full but other than that you're okay so why this one well firstly 
the Jabao ones, the cheaper sort of Chinese brands, although this one is, I think, a Chinese brand, it's a high-end Chinese brand, they had quite bad reviews. So the Jabao ones, they're not very accurate, so they only do one mil at a time, whereas this one can do um, 0.1 of a mil. So already, if you're dosing low amounts but frequently, then this already wins. And the amount of times that I read a review where the Jabao one broke or something went wrong with it and the customer service was terrible. I know D&D is a really good brand that will replace it or, or help you get through the issue. So that's that reason. This other reason was a lot of the other brands, even the sort of the higher end mid-range brands, they didn't have the connectivity that this one does. So this is run by Bluetooth app. The Bluetooth app allows you to set this from your phone to do whatever you want. So on it, you can do your dosing every day or every two days or every three days or once a week or whatever. And then throughout that day, you can have it dose up to 12 times a day. So if you wanted to dose um, 10 mil, for instance, and you wanted it throughout the day, you set it to do 10 mil um, 10 times a day or whatever and then it will do one mil at even distances, time scales, between that day. So it's really good for that smooth addition of nutrients or whatever you need to your aquarium, especially if you're growing plants. You don't want there to be peaks and troughs of fertilizers. And this allows me to have a really smooth, constant flow of nutrients to my macroalgae, all from an app. Whereas other brands, they had buttons and they had screens and I can't be dealing with that. I love to do things from an app. The other reason was this is a Bluetooth app, whereas other brands were using Wi-Fi. I have no Wi-Fi in this shed, so I need something I can use without Wi-Fi. And that's where this comes in. The bigger one with the four, I think uses Wi-Fi. So I might not even be able to use that one in this shed because I might not, have, well, I'm not gonna have Wi-Fi. So Bluetooth is a big important thing for me. Another thing I really like is just the size of it. It is quite minuscule, isn't it? And obviously if you daisy chain them together, you can fit them onto quite a small shelf or you could use this on a really small planted aquarium. The other units, they're massive big boxes. They're like a VCR kind of size. Uh, if you don't know what a VCR is, then I feel really old now. But, you know, they're large boxes. This is a really small form factor. And I really like that. It's also very light. The head's easy to replace. Um, it's just quality, isn't it? And it's only around 70 pounds. The Jabao ones, for the two heads, they were 50 pounds. But again, if you're gonna buy something that could break quite quickly, it's better to buy something which you can sort of feel happy with the quality of it. I've just connected it up a little bit. You can see the cable length there. Uh, it's about four foot cable length, so it's okay. Would have been nice to maybe have another extra foot or two so you can uh, stretch it out. but. It's fine for most people's purposes. What we're going to do now is just show you it dispensing. So this is the pipe work you get with it. I've just cut it in half. You can see here where the connectors are. And we're just going to dispense from there to there. Before that though, I need to calibrate it. The next step is calibration and what that does is it will dispense into this container and then you tell the app how much it dispensed and from that information it then calibrates the whole unit. So it's actually a really simple setup. Some people have had issues on the app connecting but I had absolutely no issue using my Note 10 Plus um, connecting via Bluetooth to this. It connected first time, it's been working perfectly. So it might be to do with your Bluetooth version or your phone model, I don't know. But as far as I can see with my phone, the app is working flawlessly. So I've just asked it to dispense 10 mils using the manual mode and we'll see how accurate it is in its dispensing after I have calibrated it. Right, that's the end of it. And you could hear as well, it wasn't very noisy at all. It's just slightly above 10 mils. It does say 10 mils at 20 degrees C. My shed's 23 degrees, so it's possible that the water is slightly warmer. I would say it's about 0.1 of a mil out, 
which to be fair isn't too bad. I guess if you were delivering drugs to a patient that would be bad but for my purposes 0.1 of a mil um, out isn't going to be a major issue but there you go you can see the level of accuracy that this can give you. So obviously time will tell how good this is. I have a good impression of it at the moment. I think it's working really well so far. Um, I'm going to be adding it to uh, my system behind the camera to keep my fertilizers pumping through that, keep them nice and level so there's no peaks and troughs in the availability of nutrients to my macroalgae. If I get on with it, what I'm going to do is probably buy another one or maybe another three so I can daisy chain them so then I can do all my tanks from one reservoir of fertilizer. And that is the key to this kind of device, is making your life easy. Um, and that gives me an idea for another video. So stay tuned to watch my next one. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks to my channel members and patrons. Have a lovely day. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping. <laughs>